<laughs> these are how my threats look at this shit these are how my threats come in right here you see this here this man arguing with this little prostitute girl this girl we probably he done beat the ass with the ass and he arguing where they getting in and out of the car he's supposed to be up pimping a hoe she the hoe and this is what going on everywhere i go these are the type of scenes that's being enacted this is katherine always telling me this is what she gonna do to lamaya if i don't stop pursuing this case against her this is what she tells me all the time so here it is five o'clock in the motherfucking morning i come down here just sitting by the courthouse i'm by the courthouse now y'all I just come here to study a couple hours because my uh, one of the places where I'm going to open up at seven o'clock, and so I come down here a couple hours earlier, maybe an hour, a little bit over an hour early, just so I can kind of review some of my notes and review my stuff. And then this is what I come to. But this is this is like every day, all day long. If it ain't this, it's something else. It's every day, all day long. And these are the type of ways in which um, Catherine Cortez and some of the other elected officials here, Harry Reid, uh, Governor Brian Sandoval, this is some of the ways in which they always... Um, threaten me they threat it's they call indirect threats where they create the scenes they have they hire the actors they hire these actors to come here to do all this crazy stuff this is like 24 hours a day everywhere i go whenever they want to threaten me this is what they do having that using that uh illegal surveillance that illegal unlawful surveillance to track my every move, they torture my eyes, the, the visual, the optical surveillance, everything. So now here, this is what you call uh, torturing your eyes, meaning that everything, even what I see, um, they are trying to threaten me uh, by the stuff that I see. Now, she's supposed to be so hurt or whatever the case may be, and I don't know what it is. It doesn't really even matter, but Congress know I have been complaining about my daughter since 2014. I have told them we feel I know since 2012 actually I told him we feared for our life and I'm fearing my life from um, Harry Reid I fear my life from Katherine I fear my life from the governor here in Nevada and these are the people who I fear my life of but so this is what they're doing because Katherine murdered all these people and it began in 2006 she murdered all these people mainly through uh, medical treatments and all of this old stuff so to prevent me from filing these charges against them this is what they're doing and they took a uh, uh, took Lamaya out of school. When I sent her away from school, they prayed on her to go up out of to go to school so they could start torturing her. Now, so this is what they're doing. Lamaya was supposed to graduate from Southern Illinois. She said she did not. She did not have a graduation. When I looked online, I pulled the program down. They did have a graduation. Lamaya's name is not on that graduation on that graduating list. So all of these other stuff, and she's been kind of pulled out of my life since then. This is my child. This is Catherine Cortez Meso. This is the governor governor here I wrote him many a times he should have put an end to this when you tell the governor the courts and all these judge Kissinger she has to go to jail I told good judge Kissinger on a couple times that I fear for me and my baby's life in 2014 she should give me a restraining order and then in 2017 she just simply refused to hear my case and I put down there that I fear for me and my child's life and both my daughter's life and she just simply refuses to hear my case judge Kissinger did. The governor should have put an end to this. I got letters from him telling me he can't help me. Now, I told him I feared for my life and so much other stuff was going on. He should have investigated that. He too sent, I have letters, documents stating that. He said there was nothing he could do about it, and I told him that. So all none of this had to escalate. Harry Reid contracted Trina, those who are harming my child. Catherine, Trina Giles, Kenny Ray, all them. Cat, uh, uh, Harry Reid was the one who uh, put her up to, uh, you know, contracted her to do that. Hired Trina as a hit person. It's, it's Harry Reid that's uh, providing for Gwen and uh, her family. Now, what's the odds of this shit happening here? 5.30 in the morning, almost quarter to 6, and all this going on. First, they was down there. So, I parked away on this end, so now they come parking over here. This car, first, they was way down there, parked down there by the light. So, then I park up here on this, because I don't want to see the stuff. I don't want to hear. And then, he come parks his car right here. All this nigger shit. Gwen and Lynn Cheney took part of it in. Again, again Harry Reid. 
hire Trina to be the hit person. So the Trini family is involved. So this is some niggerish shit right there. Ain't shit wrong with this girl. Ain't shit wrong with them. I don't know what they trying to do, but I'm just tired of all of this. I can't go nowhere without them torturing my visual. And that's what I mean by torturing your visual. First, uh, they knew where I was coming. Having that uh, 24 hour, I'm sorry, that 100% transparency, 100% access into my private life, which mean in my thoughts, my uh, optical surveillance, it's called mirror time uh, surveillance, optical surveillance and all of that stuff. So them having the full knowledge thereof, they know my whereabouts, they even know my intents and where I'm trying to go. And so as soon as I pull up here, again, they have a... Um, they had this girl, this little girl out here. They were down on that end first um, arguing or whatever. So I said, okay, let me just go on over here because I know this is for me. So then I come all the way over here on this end. Then they pulls up over here um, hollering and screaming at each other and doing the same thing again. If it, Now, it could just be under normal circumstances. You just say, oh, look at them two good people out there arguing. That don't make no sense. They need to quit. But this happens everywhere I go. So they, they torture my visual everywhere I go and it's always relating to something I did or something that's going on in my world it's always and this is why I am I have to um, pursue this case the judge the orders came in for Katharina to put an end to this optical surveillance for this digital optical um, 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 surveillance act and a lot of other stuff that's going on the judge put an end to all of this or your old craziness now that boy's license place is eight e d w six two two something like that e d w six two two or something like that just craziness just craziness and just think these are the people you elected you put in office that's doing all this weird stuff now that i'm making a video yeah sure you're gonna leave now and this is why I try to t I try to capture every damn thing. I try to capture it all because I'm so sick of them. And what it is is that Catherine committed all these murders uh, beginning to, I say 2006, but it's beginning long before 2006. I can pin her with a case from 1999. I can pin her with cases from 1999 on up, on forward. And the, uh, the governors here in Las Vegas are... Uh, protecting Catherine uh, from all these her murders. They started off by intentionally trying to um, ruin me and my daughter's life because I have what you call, let me see if I can find it. I have what you call the original certificate of title and it's called the 1905. Let me see if I can find it here for you because I do have it. Let's see. And so uh, Vegas was built. See this here? Let's see if y'all can see that. You see that says AD, whatever I'm trying to record it. Yeah, sure, they always make this camera blurry. Only government can do that. Only, only the governor here can have the, see your, all your phones, especially like Apple, all your phone, they have what you call a trusted root certificate of authority key. Now, Apple's give the Apple give that key only to the Department of Defenses, to the government agencies. And so what that means that any um, uh, the Department of Defense can uh, break into anybody's cell phone, even into your hard drive. And you could be able to and could do all kinds of things from cloning to uh, harassment to all these but only certain people can do that all the telephone makers they have a certificate of roots it's called a certificate of authority key a trusted root that's what it's called a trusted root certificate of authority key so can't know anybody go in my phone and mess with they only give it to certain people to the department of defense and the um attorney general the governor the senator people like that can get that key it's an encrypted key code and it goes to every phone so can't know train of them can't even do this police officers can't do this this has to go to one of these good the governor has to do this so Catherine has to do can do that uh, and and Harry Reid could have done that because can't know anybody do this but anyway you see here's what I have every time I get a new phone they can make the images appear to be blurry or as um, soon as I get a phone if I get a phone for 30 um, 
gigabytes. They already filled up the damn hard drive with about 15 or 20 gigabytes, which is bullshit. On the last time I got this phone in my hard drive, there was all of the chambers in America, all of the business chambers. Well, that's that underground uh, illegal Ponzi scheme marketing. They started with the chambers and all of his business members. So all of them are also on this phone that I have. They're on their hard drive, and you know there's no way they should be on here. But half of my megabytes was uh no i'm sorry half of my gigabytes was already used when i purchased the phone i tried to take it back they refused to take the phone back that goes to show you who i am up against now i'm trying to just i want you to see if you can read this but it's kind of blurry but it doesn't matter. I read it for you. It says the certificate of title. Number. It has a number at the top. Then it says transfer from. And there's another number. Originally registered the 9th day of August, it says. Originally registered the 9th day of August, A.D. of 1912. A.D. means before Christ of 1912. And it goes into other. But it says right here that this here was given to. Let me find my name. Okay. Hold on, Hennepin, go over here. Yeah, you can see my name, Burley Samaya Hodges. It was given to Samaya Hodges, my old address right there. And I was given this here in 1995. I see it, and I know it, but I was trying to find it so you can see it in 1995. But again, I don't know if it's just my eyes. It's made everything looks blurry. Everything is um my camera. Uh, lenses is not focusing, not focus well. But this here is the original certificate of title dated 1912 AD. It belongs to me. Also, they call it the 1905 because I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can zoom in right there. I'm gonna see what how can I make this here clear. There you go, it's getting a little better. See the 1905? That's called the 1905 because that was the year it was amended in Minnesota. So some people refer to it as the 1905. Hold on, I'm going to see if I can. Oh, zoom in my name. That's say Samaya Hodges. There you go. I'm trying to get it in good. AD. Can you see? You can see AD good. You see 1912. I'm trying to be really still. See if that'll help. If I'm if I'm super still. Anyways, and it was given to me in 1995. That looks good. I wonder why we can't get this to look good. <coughs> mm, bless me. There we go. 1912 AD. That means AD means before Christ, y'all. Before Christ. You see this? They have all this here uh, writing here states that because Catherine and the governor here took my home unlawfully. The courts, uh, it's been paid off in full and besides the court security and the court uh, paid it off. But they just took it unlawfully because that's they do what the fuck they want to do here in Las Vegas. So I'm here now just trying to, every day I've been trying to get my house back. I wrote the governor. I wrote Harry Reid. I'm still waiting on them to evict these peoples off my home. They want me to go in and be at, uh, uh, go in and, and, you know, do the nigger route and go over there and, and the bam and on the door and do this and that. I'm not doing that. I'm going the legal route, not the nigger route so but they trying to agitate me so that's why i'm here um 
downtown by the courthouse waiting on them to open but i brought as you can see i brought all my paperwork here with me so i like to just come in because it's really it's nice out i don't have to being that they broke my air conditioning unit in the car i can sit in my car for a while early in the morning before it gets too high and i can just kind of you know study over my documents a little bit and so um this morning i got up they had a little uh fluid uh, seeping from my car yesterday so although uh, all last week they've been messing with my steering power steering uh wheel i haven't had any leaks until just yesterday but they've been messing with that for a week or so now and when i first went to st louis to file this year case they was doing the same thing with my with my truck my power steering now, i never got it fixed it just miraculously fixed on its own and now here it again today my power steering i always have selected timing but not just the power steering absolutely everything in this truck has selected timing and for a truck to only have 100,000 miles on this truck has been since i've been filing this case has went through a beating it has taken a beating about 20 things has then happened to this truck including someone going up into the interior roof removing the uh, uh, water drains the water holes somebody going up into the inside of the truck removing the water drain the drainage holes which made it pour down raining in this car I went to go have my lock fixed on this door to have it replaced and it looked like because it looked like from the outside somebody punctured it and the lock fell through the inside of the door when the guy removed the door he told me didn't nobody puncture your um door he said whoever went whoever um broke the lock on your door they actually took the time to take this door apart we unscrewed the lock and took the lock off only government can do that they took the lock off he said they unscrewed. Now, that was happening when I first got This is a brand new truck happened when I first got it. Now, this truck is considered private property. It's private property because uh, I paid for it, number one. But number two, I sent the title back in, too, and had it validated the whole nine yard. And I sent uh, other stuff into the DMV. But this is private property. Even the government does not have the power, I mean, does not have the right to keep on tampering with this truck every single day. But what's happening is... Uh, uh, these uh, uh, officials here, Harry Reid and the governor and Katherine here in Las Vegas are intentionally trying to chase me out of Las Vegas. They are intentionally ruining my truck and my life. As you can see, it was a Mexican. Okay, well, right here at 4239 12th Avenue in Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's where I live. But it was some Mexicans who bought that house. So Vegas, uh, let me backtrack this again. Vegas was built in 1905. Vegas was built in 1905. Ve Vegas was built off the illegal um, usage and claiming of this here, what you call the certificate of title. Vegas was crooks from the beginning. Vegas was using and stealing this here uh, money from this here entitled this inheritance since 1905, the first year they were born. So now that they thought that my, me and my two daughters were the last heirs, they found a way to lure me here to Las Vegas. I was lured here to Las Vegas after this house was sold to these Mexican people. I was lured here to Las Vegas. So their plan was to kill me. And once they killed me, they thought that they were going to gain possession of their full title. Because we are the last of the heirs. That's why my baby girl, Amaya, is under attack by Catherine, Harry Reid, and all the other, um, and the governor here in Las Vegas. That's why we were under attack by them because they wanted to kill me. And they thinking that if they get to Lamaya, she would be the next heir for her to have babies. She would be next heir. They take the children and this, that, and the other. For these here reasons, Lamaya should never be an heir. Her children, or Amaya or Lamaya, their children i don't have an heir put it that way i don't have the only beneficiaries would be the beneficiary of the whole entire world every 10 billion people on the planet i do not have a a, a, a beneficiary other than the people my children neither their children nor uh, nor the 25 a uh, million surrogate in, imposter babies nobody shall gain this nobody shall gain this your title ever if I don't take full possession, I took 
full possession. But if they don't allow me to access full possession, nobody should never have it. Vegas, the whole city of Vegas should go under all this. The entire city was built off of my inheritance. Even before it was given to me, it was my grandfather's inheritance. And now for Vegas to have the nerves to try to put me out of my own home, that's paid for. Try got me sleeping in the damn streets in this truck. And the whole nine yard, I think that that's just awful. That is awful. That is awful. So I want this whole entire Las Vegas to go under. All this shit shut down. So they brought me here just to kill me and my babies. And for these reasons, that's why they forced Lamaya out of school. Katharina's holding her for collateral and holding my baby as a hostage and as a damn sex slave. Like she pumping golden eggs, trying to make more babies so they could continue to hold on to this title for generations to come. So for their reason, I put an end to it right here, right now with me. Nobody else would get this title after Samaya Hodges, after me and myself. Not a soul. And that's why they are all these killings and different things are was allowed in Las Vegas. Uh, that's why they hold in Lamaya for collateral. That's why I heard, and I'm not sure, and Lamaya would not tell me. That's why I, um, I heard that she was probably uh, even had a baby. That Catherine, I know Catherine uh, forced her to go to Spain. I know she was an exchange student over in Spain, but I'm not sure what happened. I know that she was molested when she went to Paris. The Pope was over there. I know that much. I found that out. So it's so much going on and it's all over this here certificate of title which nobody shall get I'm gonna leave it to the people nobody in my family would I ever curse them or hurt them again over this here bullshit nobody according to this they don't have the rights to take away my home you don't have the rights to take away shit it's just like me being the supreme ruler of the world and you gonna take from me you can't take from a supreme person there's not a judge on the planet earth that could do that and this is what all this writing is says that i don't have to I, that i don't need uh no travel passes i have all rights upon all lands that you cannot attach a lien to my shit you cannot take it you're not even through the court of law it says something you buy here you can't even appeal Peel my rights away. You was not even supposed to take my child or none of this, but they are doing because uh, they're just doing what the heck they want to do. And it was given to me in 1995. Listen, look at this right here. It says that this, that the said Samaya Hodges is of 18 years of or older. He is married to Gregory Hodges, whom they killed or supposed to be dead or whatever the case. I was his beneficiary, but Catherine did not send me his uh, his uh, benefits. She gave me like twenty five thousand, but Hodges had millions. They uh, Lamaya was supposedly pulled a plug on. I didn't even go to it. It's supposed to be a funeral, and it all happened so fast. That's why I used the word supposedly because I don't even know if it's real. But nevertheless, I was his beneficiary, so it couldn't be real if I didn't take no parts of it. I'm Gregory Hodges, my ex-husband beneficiary, but yet I didn't have, I didn't sign anything. I didn't take part in the funeral. I didn't plan. I was not even there. So I don't know who they got to play the role of Samaya, but I was not there. And she is under no legal incapacity so but i do know the katherine the governor here they all have uh imposter samaya playing my role like that carrie van not that sex scandal i was not in court that was not me my daughter i am her power of attorney i'm her power in fact and i am her legal guardian she should not be her picture is on the federal bureau's investigation she should not have been there all those federal bureau agencies need to be arrested because the feds in las vegas have taken great part in this so this is for germany if y'all want to come in and invade you can uh if i, if I have to give you the hold the world title you can because she has Lamaya has no the feds had no right to go and interrogate my baby I have I was not there with her I don't know if they using scare tactics against her she's been uh they kidnapped her from a child they prayed and waited on her to go to school wait till she went off to school now when Amaya went off to college she was still uh, she's always a minor even at 25 6 or 7 she still not or but you know i'm just saying even at those ages now she's 27 but she um was always and is a minor girl because she has a young heart a child heart she's just uh, a minor in that sense uh you know she is not fully uh mature developing the area i didn't um 
and legally she is considered a minor. I didn't raise my kids to be grown at 18 as the average black person raised your child to be grown at 18. No, my kids were still kids. They were still kids at heart. When I when she came home last year, she's still watching Disney movies and, and stuff like that. So she was still a minor at heart. But nevertheless, I put Lamaya through private school at the age of four. She went to kindergarten at the age of four. I had her reading. I taught her myself. I invested in my children. I taught her myself. So I had her reading at the age of four years old. I'm, I'm sorry, at the age of three years old. I put her in private school at Seed Academy in Minnesota. At the age of four she was in kindergarten by her birthday being in September she cut she was at that cutoff date so she wouldn't have went to regular kindergarten in America until she was six years old so if she went off to college she's so what I'm trying to say is that she was always two years ahead of herself so let's say if she went off to college at 17 years old or 18 and amongst those other kids, you can practically say 15 years old or something like that. So she was always a minor, still a minor. So, but what they have did was they kidnapped this little girl, wait till she went off to school before they started torturing her and, and putting fear in her. Mrs. House over at the um, Andre Agassi, when LaMaya was, I think she was probably in the ninth or the tenth grade or somewhere around the tenth grade or so. Yeah, she was in the tenth grade because in the, uh, Las Vegas they have what you call a proficiency exam in high schools. And you start taking these tests in tenth grade. And if you don't pass it, you could take it in 11th grade and then the 12th grade. But you have to have it passed before you get a diploma is what they told us. And in the 10th grade, you could take it twice. I believe you could take it two times per year uh, until you pass it. But you have to have all areas passed before you go uh, graduate. Well, Amaya took that test in the 10th grade and she passed the entire test. So she took it on her first time and she passed it. Well, Mrs. House here in Las Vegas, as in the White House, Mrs. House, because uh, Vegas trying to, Las Vegas trying to overthrow its own government. But as um, Mrs. House and uh, Andre Agassi here in Las Vegas, she called and she pretty much threatened Lamaya in front of me. Just that I'm looking back on that now. I didn't see it at the time. Well, what she did was she called me. She said, Lamaya is in here crying and I'm concerned about Lamaya crying. She said because she her test scores were not high enough. I told her she had the highest scores in the class. I mean, in the school, um, but she still was crying. And so I said, well, maybe she just happened to out, uh, maybe she's just crying because uh, we just recently lost my granny, her granny, but I call my mom granny, but we just recently lost granny. Uh, granny died in 2006. So I said, we just recently lost granny. She just recently lost her grandmother. Maybe she's just having a, you know, an outburst at school or whatever the case may be is what I told her. Then Mrs. House said, well, I'm just kind of concerned about her. If she's worried about these test scores and if she's taking it this hard, maybe when she goes off to college, she sees they may find the kids like this. They find them dead in their dorm and stuff like that. And so I was just kind of worried that she's taking this, you know, so serious. I'm going like, this is a counselor now over at Andre Agassi. My is in 10th grade and she told me that they find kids like that dead in their own in their dorm once they goes off to college and this was Andre Agassi, but now I have reason to believe that Lamaya was being molested and didn't tell me. And she went to a Mrs. House to try to uh, get some help, her counselor. She was trying to tell somebody about it. And this is what Miss House had this conversation while Lamaya was in her office and I'm on the phone. And I believe uh, Mrs. House threatened Lamaya's life. So I believe throughout her career in college that, I mean, throughout her career in school and knowing that she was, was possibly could have been the the next heir for this title she would have been the last heir and the next heir for the entire world so um again i believe that my child has been molested raped, and abused throughout school without me knowing it. and at that time that mrs house called me that was another threat and as you see, she possibly could have been the next heir to this here title. This certificate of title died, dated 1912 A.D.
that was given to her mom. And by her being the, the baby girl, they thought maybe she was going to get it next. I was going to will it over to her next. And I don't have any grandchildren. They prevented me. I wanted more children. They prevented me from having children. Prevented a lot of stuff from happening here. So this is Las Vegas scheme. This is her plot. This is her scheme. And the reason why they lured us here. And we were indeed lured. I have to tell you that on another video. But they indeed uh, lured me here to Las Vegas just for the kill because they thought they had the whole monopoly thing going on here. And this is a problem that I have. I have uh, receipts to show that my house is paid for, but yet yeah, I'm the constables in Las Vegas would not move. They would not put these people out of my house. I contacted all of the um, uh, excuse me elected officials here in Las Vegas. And as you can see, I got so many writings and, and paperwork coming back from them too. Letters sent, they can help me. But I contacted so many people here in Las Vegas. I don't have to go the normal route. I shouldn't have to even be doing normal procedures because I own the world. And there are laws that tells me how I can govern myself or how I can get around it. Being that you are the uh, so somewhat uh, like a supreme sovereign. So I don't have to. It's like being uh, higher than a president. It's like being higher than a pope, higher than a queen. So they should be treating me as such. But yet they treat me less than a human being, less than a dog, have taken away all of my rights. Absolutely all of these people here in Las Vegas. So this is for you, Germany. I hope that you are hearing this and you have the rights and the, the world has the right to do a global attack on America if America cannot uh, uh, control Las Vegas.